interesting topic. And the pit game Saturday had some roaring fans, but was the orange part of the crowd? Amber McElrath is live in studio to tell us what the Syracuse side of Heinz Field looked like on Saturday. If you're an SU student, orange seems to flow through your veins. But does this school spirit transfer to other stadiums besides the Carrier Dome? I traveled to Heinz Field in Pittsburgh last weekend to find out. Syracuse University was ranked number one in school spirit this summer by the Princeton College Review. In 2017, Syracuse sold an average of 34,000 tickets for their home games. I can physically feel goosebumps. That's when I know everybody, I can feel the energy radiating through the Carrier Dome. The Carrier Dome is the home of the Orange, but it's not the only place Syracuse fans travel. The Syracuse University fan club Otto's Army organized a bus trip to Pittsburgh for the game against the Pitt Panthers. I think we'll have a good amount of fans there because um, I think Syracuse travels pretty well. Every year, Otto's Army travels to a nearby away game. 50 tickets were sold for the fan bus this year. However, most Pitt students didn't seem impressed by the turnout from Syracuse compared to other teams they played this year. When Penn State was here, uh, there was a lot more hype around it. So. Uh, there's still a lot of hype because it's homecoming weekend, but um, otherwise, like, obviously Penn State is a bigger rivalry. There were Syracuse fans sprinkled throughout the stadium, but the number was a lot smaller than you'd expect for the school ranked number one in spirit. The noise in the Carrier Dome is unbeatable, but maybe students should work on their presence at away games. It's always hard to travel away from Syracuse, especially when your destination is five and a half hours away. Even though the bus trip for next year isn't decided yet, maybe more students will be interested in going and showing that Q's pride. 